Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jessica Chinwe and this is Afri Multimedia. Obviously, what we're here to do is to talk about everything and anything. But today, we'll be talking about everything that concerns relationship. And of course, I have a guest here. But before I go into what I have to tell you guys or what we have to discuss, let's go on a quick break. We'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, we have a guest here with me and... Um, <laughs> We have Ibe Chooks. How are you doing? I'm good, Jessica. Are you Are you happy that you're here? Of course I am. And I'm very sure that you love the topic that I'm talking about today because people love to talk about relationship, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I think it's, a, it's an interesting topic. Yeah, very interesting yeah. and quite broad as well. Yeah, true. Because no true. matter how we get to talk about relationship, we don't, you know, get to talk about everything, That's right? True. That's so, true. Um, aside from that, I have few questions to ask um, eBay Choose. But before that, let me quickly just introduce you guys to who this person here is. Simply a scriptwriter and a movie director. But is there any other thing you do aside from this one? Um, I'm an engineer as well. I graduated okay. from Namibia Zikiwe University. I studied metallurgical material engineering. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. So, so I'm a filmmaker. Okay. And an engineer but i think i think my first passion is filmmaking mm. so why did you go into mechanical engineering uh, engineer? you're in nigeria you don't practice what you preach oh <laughs> so. really so you're among those people that just go to school because you just want to you know, yeah go to i actually have i have a flair for engineering but okay. i think i discovered filmmaking as a passion later on in my life i grew up being very creative mm. you know so but i also found out that i could write I could write then and uh, I have a passion. There's a way I, 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 I envision filmmaking. Okay. And it, dr Nigeria, it, right? yeah, it drove my passion into getting into the profession. So. Okay. okay, so guys, remember I said that we'll be talking about relationship, but I want you to come from your own personal, um, personal point of view and a general mindset when it comes to relationship. But before then, why is I asking you the question that I have for um, Chips today? Are you in a relationship? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so um, at the moment, no. Really? Yeah. See, I think it seems like people are, are seeing me in this our country. Like, anybody you ask, they tell you no. Why? Things are hard. So, everybody's trying to figure themselves out first. <laughs> really? <laughs> Before, you know, getting to worry about someone. Mm. But that's not the issue here. I think it's, it's about. You know, finding the right person, the right time. I don't know. So, are you, are you telling that everybody that you see, they're not, they're not the right person, or is it that hard to find a partner? Trust me, it could be. Really? Yeah, especially when you want to be honest with yourself, when you're done messing around mm -hmm. and you actually want to like. Be serious. Yeah, that's when you discover it's actually hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you guys want in a relationship? I want you to come from your own personal um, perspective and the general perspective of relationship. <laughs> what do you guys want? Yeah. Um, I think, first of all, it depends on, you know, individuals differ. Yeah, sure. But there is one common thing I know that every guy wants in a relationship. Okay. And that is respect. Mm. Every man wants respect. You know, there is this saying, a woman wants love, a man wants respect. Okay. So the first thing a man wants in a relationship is for the person that he is in that relationship with to actually respect him. Uh, most people are actually misunderstand that as being authoritative no but yeah. you just to understand that as a guy he has some he's expecting some respect from you mm. and, it, and if you understand that as a woman i think you have you won't have much problem in your relationship with a man are you sure and that's, of course yeah are I think you sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> for a guy that is that understand like even the woman too demands respect mm -hmm. or also deserves respect mm -hmm. do you understand but for a guy the easiest way to show me love is to respect him. Mm. That's one. Okay. Now, another thing, a, a, I think every man wants a woman that is loyal. Mm. You want to be out there and know that this woman got me. Do you yeah. understand? You don't yeah. want to be, maybe, your, your afraid wife. Afraid of something. Afraid. Okay. Like yeah. you are outside and you're thinking, where could she be? Yeah. What is she doing? Mm. So, every man wants a woman that is loyal. Okay. Then, Every man also wants a woman that supports him, especially his ambitions. Mm -hmm. Now we all know, you know, the world economy now is hard, especially here in our country. Yeah. So it's it's I think it's satisfying to have a woman that will once in a while encourage you. Mm -hmm. You know, 
remind you to to not give up. Trust me, men are going through a lot, yeah. but we okay. are demand. We don't really say, it. and we also there to actually we are there to protect the woman. So you don't actually make yourself look vulnerable. But we have we have issues. We have things we are dealing with. So if you have a woman that can see past through the wall you are building, yeah, and still give you that word of encouragement, yeah, is a lot. It means a lot to a man. Mm. And uh, I think I don't think men one, which most men don't really know, is that men are emotional too. Yeah, I know that. And we also want some pampering. Mm, <laughs> yeah, really? Too. You guys want to be taken care Trust of? Trust me. <laughs> yeah, men, men is that pampering. Okay. Uh, we might not want the whole cuddling thing. We men, we, okay, that's our job to give. Okay. But a man might expect you to take him out. Is I'm that like I'm talking about pampering. Like maybe. Okay. He's, he wants to leave. He just touch his chest, have a good day, you know, just, okay, not just saying it, yeah, stuff, have yeah. a good day, touch his face, that little, little sign of affection, affection yeah. means a lot, it can melt a man's heart, mm. so, I think, for now, these are the basic, I don't know if I'm saying this based on my, yeah, personal. I get it, because what you're saying means that, anything you're saying means that you believe it, yeah, and sure. it's kind of part of you, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, but I'm kind of curious. Why are you not talking about the external things? You're just talking about loyalty, uh, peace of mind, respect. Because, come <laughs> on, are we, are, we, are we going to lie that guys don't actually see some certain things and that what they see physically is what they want, like, is what attracts them? Of course, yes. I think, I think that's the first point of call mm. for guys. I mean, of course, but everybody. You, you did not say it now. You're not telling us um, respect. Okay, maybe because you did not ask me. <laughs> okay, let's go into that as well. You know, there is this popular saying. I think this popular belief that men are moved by what they see. Yeah, that's sure. a fact. The first thing, forget about you know, this, there is this uh, you know notion that inner beauty is everything. But for a man, it starts with physical beauty. Mm, I was going to ask that. That's as the well. truth. That's the truth. But when we when we get past that physical beauty, we we'll get past that physical beauty very fast. Mm. That is the first thing that I try to man to you. Okay. If a man sees a girl that is pretty, okay. he knows that he goes for it because mm. men are hunters. We are built to hunt. So, f of course, the figure eights and the pointed nose and you know, the skin and everything, of course, is a factor. Okay. Men look out for that. All right. But beyond that, you still want to make sure that but it doesn't end in physical beauty. Of yeah. course, the physical beauty at some point, you know, everybody, all of us will age. So yeah. get to a point when it's longer there. Yeah, sure. So being able to stay when those things you've initially saw are no longer there is what matters. And that's when you now talk of the inner beauty. <laughs> so, but yes, it starts with the physical attraction. Yeah. So, um, okay, in relation to that, I want to ask you personally, what's the first thing you notice when you see a girl oh, physically? <laughs> no, don't, just tell us the truth. Trust me, my answer is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to hear that word answers because really my answer is so weird. Okay, let's let's oh shoot, shoot, let's hear it. Should I, can I say this? <laughs> of course you can. Okay. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <sighs> All right. Okay now. Okay, I'll say it. The first thing I look at for a woman, I see a woman. The first point of attraction for me is her hips. Hmm. Guys. Yeah, I told you it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's let's just be cool. Okay. I really want to know your um take on this issue so what do you think about transactional relationship do you think that there is something called tra transactional relationship or it's not just real what's your course, take of course on there it? is okay so what's your there take is on? um there are some people that, that are in such relationship you know where it's a transaction it's an exchange yeah for the boy and the girl in most cases the girl believe the girl is in a relationship because of the money Okay. The guy is, is in the relationship because of probably the sex. Hmm. Like this girl, they don't really they know they don't really have that real affection for each other. Yeah. But the girl is seeing this guy because this guy is bringing out the so the box, yeah. and the guy is spending the money because the guy is offering sex. Hmm. So it's a transaction. That most, most people call it friends with benefit. Mm, yeah. You know, but in this case now, friends with benefit with real exchange. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. So yeah, yeah, people do, people do keep transactional relationship. You know, I heard someone say that um, you can actually get married or want someone um, without actually being attracted to one or two things. It could be the money, it could be the physical look, it could be anything whatsoever. Is that also transactional? Um, you might not really call that transactional. 
of course, for you to like someone, someone must have attracted it to something must have attracted it to them. Yeah. Is it that their looks? Maybe they have money. Mm -hmm. It could be the way they talk. It could be their charisma. Maybe for the guy. For a girl, it might even some guys I know can be attracted to the gay because something as crazy as her boob size. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. But like you understand there must be a point <laughs> yeah. of attraction. Yeah. But liking someone or or being in a traditional relationship yeah. goes beyond attraction. what attracted you to okay. that person. It's okay, something attracted you. Now in this case the money mm. for the girl and for the guy, what the girl is offering, probably the sex. Mm. So both in a girl girl normal relationship, in a boy boy normal relationship, something must attract you. Is that the person's character? It could be the person's physique, it could be the person's financial you know, status or whatever. But there must be an attraction. But now when it's not turn, when it now turns into an exchange, that means there's an interest. Oh, of course, okay. most times I might call it selfish interest because if you're in a relationship just because you're getting money from someone, you're satisfying your selfish interest. Yeah. And if you're in a relationship because you're getting sex from a girl, you're satisfying your selfish interest. Yeah. The both parties know they don't have real love, but just because my interest is satisfied, yours is satisfied, yeah. you are good. That's that's really transactional. That's transactional. <laughs> okay, so aside from that, I also want to ask you final question. Mm -hmm. What's a deal breaker for guys like most guys? Okay, let's start from you. I love to start from you. Mm, I think the number one deal breaker for every guy, I think, is is honesty. A woman that is not loyal. I think no man wants to worry about or wants to have trust issues with a woman. You, know, you don't want to have that burden of thinking because she, she, she's not with you every time. Yeah. So every time she's not with you, you don't want to keep thinking, what is she up to? Yeah. What is she doing? I keep calling her to, you know, pretending you're checking up on her, but actually you're stalking her. You know, you're trying to know where she, where she is and what she's doing. So, but if there's a way you, if you know a woman too well, you can actually know that this woman will mess up. Yeah. You, can, you, you can have some level of trust. Yeah. Every man wants that peace. So the major deal breaker is a woman that's that cheats here, yeah. a woman that is not loyal. Okay. It's number one deal breaker for me. For you. And I feel for, for most men too, so, yeah. So that's all. No, there are others. Okay, we said the just major add one, one. You can just add just okay, one. Okay, another one. No, my personal deal breaker, I'm not gonna say it, trust Why? me. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say it. Isn't that weird? But yeah, it's weird. I have a lot I'm weird. In your words. Yeah, sort of um, the creative should be weird. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm creatively weird, okay. whatever, but, okay, the no, another major deal break I feel is a woman that is not clean. Clean? Yeah, a woman that doesn't have good personal hygiene, hygiene. yes, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's a big turn off. Guys, you're hearing that, right? It's a big turn off for guys, it's a very big turn off, so, and it's not just about personal hygiene, because there are girls, there are ladies that they can actually take care of themselves, but when you get to wear that stain, yeah it's a mess, mess. yeah <laughs> so being able i think women need more of the environmental hygiene more than okay the, the personal is good That's but they need the environment because you know the women are not told me you need to stay in a very clean environment yeah, you know, yeah so hygiene is very important mm. i love that though yeah. but I just th this is the first time i'm hearing that hygiene is a deal breaker it's a very like, easy, easy in fact it's, it's top on the list for guys oh, wow that's yeah. interesting so there is a video i saw mm -hmm. um, by one actor you carry on a nobi. She was talking about um, sex before marriage. Okay. Let me just uh, let me just sum up what she said. She mm -hmm. said that it's good for people who are dating to have sex before marriage. What's your what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> Do you think premarital sex is advisable, or what's your thoughts? Just, just be honest, yo. Know, I you really want to know. <laughs> Do you want me to be radically honest? Radical, please. You know. Um, the Christians will actually, you know, naturally kick against what the carrier said. Yes. But if you want to be realistic, if you want to be really honest, is the truth. Really? Yeah. Mm. Intimacy is one of the major problems they're having in marriages, or we're having in most marriages. Because people get married, people that actually stayed, uh, that, uh, uh, what do you call it, observed abstinence to marriage. Now get into the marriage and find out that they are completely sexually uh, incompatible. Mm. Sexual compatibility for me is a factor because 
if a man has a high sexual demand yeah and the woman doesn't mm -hmm. there's a problem okay if a woman has a high sexual demand mm -hmm. and the man doesn't is a problem trust me mm -hmm. you can't cheat nature so now if if the, if the both parties i'm not i'm not supporting i'm not advocating uh premarital sex trust me but what i'm saying if we if we if we are to be honest is it can actually curtail some things that you you go through when you are married if i'm able to figure out that okay you don't meet my demands sexually and if i prioritize on that if i'm a kind of guy that my sexual demand is a priority for me then i can be like okay i can't stay with this woman there are people that actually their sexuality their sexual demand is is a priority yeah. they prioritize that over every other thing now for someone like that if you get into a into marriage with someone that doesn't meet that it's a problem it is but if that is why it, it, it seems so many people there are some women that are married to men that don't actually meet up to their sexual demand yeah. but they're in the relationship but what they do is they might keep you know having sizzling affairs outside marriage there are men like that even though for men most times you don't really justify why men cheat okay yeah, i know exactly i yeah, was going to say that i know you like that <laughs> so, so but sexual compatibility is a factor okay it's a factor so if you can figure that out if you can sort that out before you get into marriage i think it's an it's an added benefit so in all that you're saying what you mean is people should have sex before marriage I, to be sure that they are compatible i am not saying people should have sex well, what, you, what you're saying is driving to that but point. But I'm saying okay. if they can. If they can. Of course they can. Bad. Of course they can. Yeah, if you can, then. So, um, I'm not advocating <laughs> it. But okay, I'm saying if you can. You're just being factual. I'm just being factual. I'm just being real. Okay, I, yeah. I, I understand that. But yeah. based on my own point of view, I don't, I don't really. Okay, are you trying to say that in order for you to know that you're sexually compatible with your partner, you have to test everything, everything that comes your way? With everybody yes because if for instance you meet a person okay. and you guys go into you know you, you guys had sex to be sure that you're compatible and then you find out that you're not compatible with this person are you saying that it is justifiable enough for you to leave that relationship because you feel that you're not sexually compatible like i say it depends on your priority okay so if you, prioritize you prioritize sex, sex. if you prioritize sex if you mm. feel sex is one of the big foundation deal. yeah big deal for you in a marriage i think that should be a fact if you want to be honest with yourself okay if you want to be honest with yourself that should if you prioritize sex over her attitude mm -hmm. over her character. character yes now it's, it's a big deal for you so it should be it should be a deciding factor so does it really make sense to you does it really do it makes sense to you <laughs> <laughs> makes sense to, to me. prioritize sex over the people, most important people thing. are wired differently trust me mm. we all wire differently okay. what doesn't make sense to you makes real sense to someone else okay what doesn't matter to you means a lot to another person okay so if you understand that human beings are wired differently then you understand why some people will have several demands yeah yeah okay i get yeah. that yeah. i really love your answers but also i wish i could just we could just talk more about this issue because it's just yeah. so so deep but i don't want to take long on this issue anyway this is what we we'll call it a wrap on today's show i hope that all you've heard from us I just hope that you've learned one thing from Chooks because some of the things I just said, I've learned one or two things, but not all of them I would personally take. But you know, we all wired differently, like you said, and you have your own opinions as well. But I would love you to drop your opinion in the comment section. Let's know what you think about all of these questions I've been asking Chooks on today's show. This is the Afri Multimedia. My name is Jessica. Bye. Mm -hmm.